Hi, are you looking for an easy way to save and browse interesting tweets inside of Notion? We have an interesting solution for you, so stick around. All right, so here is a simple Notion solution inspired by one of the Twitter conversations I had about how to save tweets inside of Notion. So what you will see, it's a fairly simple table database which contains the name of the author, the URL, tags for filtering, the body of the, the, body of the email and the date when the tweet was created. And here, one added thing, once you open the preview, inside of the content page, you will see the actual embed of the tweet. And here we have hidden some of the properties that they uh, do not disturb us in this particular view. So it's easier to browse around and look at those, those tweets. All right, so now let's take a look at the make.com scenario that we're using to make that happen. And then I'll make a sh short demonstration how it works in practice. So you can find the link to make.com if you have not seen it before in the description of this video. Um, I will also add this ready-made scenario in the description so you can download it from, from there if you would like. Uh, but here, let me just do a quick walk through how it works. So where we start is the first module from Twitter. Here you have to add your connection to Twitter and and there was a lot of news about Twitter API being paid, but I'm betting that companies like Zapier, make.com, thousand bucks is nothing for them. So that, that is a safe way to be able to access that API. And what we are doing here, the first module will be, I want to watch, and we are selecting my tweets. Here we are putting a limit how many tweets we want to process at that time. This could be higher and so on. That is a scheduled scenario. So every time it runs, it will be processing this amount of tweets. So what I'm planning to do is uh, basically set it up like this and then put it on the schedule, not really do it every 15 minutes, but I will do it basically once a day and process all that, all the tweets every day, not once a day, every day, let's say at this time and process all the tweets. So here in between this module and another two modules, because the way we'll be triggering this will be by us going to a tweet that we like and typing bookmark, all right? So for every tweet that we will bookmark, it will show up over here. Then as the next stage, we will check two things. So first of all, whether this is a reply. So if we write a fresh tweet saying bookmark, it will do nothing because it will not be in reply to another tweet. And then if it's in reply, does it contain the word bookmark? Which means that we can also say something like, I am bookmarking this. And just the fact that we have the word bookmark inside, this will trigger that scenario. All right, so if those conditions are meet, we are doing two other things. So first of all, we'll get the content of the original tweet, which is fairly simple over here. So we're just getting the tweet ID from the previous stage in the tweet that we have replied to. And we also want to have a nice username of the person that we have replied to. So we are getting the details of that person by screen name. And here in the initial module, we have in reply to a screen name. Okay, so this is what we're getting over there. Uh, so that's all the information that we need for the tweet. And now we will create two items. So the first thing will be the new row inside of the database. So that will create a new row with those specific columns. And the last one is appending the content inside of the item, which is the moment when we are adding this nice preview over here. Okay, so let's look at the details. First thing, when you are creating the Notion page, you need to add a connection and there will be uh, two types of connection. So there is a public connection and then there is a Notion internal connection. So in this case, this is the, the public application from Notion. Here you would have to create your own application. If you click on the public, this will be basically the default that is already pre-set up in Notion. So select this, this will be quick and easy. Select later once you're adding this um, connection, which pages will be shared with the Make API. So you don't have to share all the pages. You can select a specific page and sub pages. All right, here we say, select the database from the, from the list. So actually here you can search for a specific database that you have, or you can just go 
here and the first part of the URL, this is actually the, the database that you are after. So you can also copy paste it over here and then click search and this will find the specific database and you will see that basically by looking that the columns are adding up with what you need. So here we are very quickly taking the name of the author from the module over here. Then we are using the created time for the date column from whenever this tweet was created. So we're looking at this module. Then we're ignoring the end time because there is no end time. And then finally for the URL, we're using a following format. So we are using the twitter.com slash the ID of the user slash status and ID of the tweet to which we have replied. Here, this part also fairly simple. We are looking for the, for the body of the email. And what is important, do not take the text from the first module because that will be your reply. And you just need the second module, which will be the actual tweet that you have replied to. So don't take the first one, take the second stage in this, uh, in this scenario. So this is the body. And here, finally, what we are doing, we're taking tags and we're having a fairly simple make formula, which basically take the hashtags of of this tweet that we have replied to, and it's taking out from the hashtag, it is taking not the indices or things, it's taking basically the text name of the hashtag, and we are using the map formula to kind of get this one out as a simple array from this a little bit more complicated array, and then we are using this to join them with a comma, so what we will end up is basically a list of tags, and you can see that this basically replicates this kind of format in the end. Okay, I'll cancel this. So this would create the new item in our database. And the final step is we are using this database item that we have just created and adding one content object of type embed. And the URL of that embed is basically the same as the URL that you are creating. So that's it, that's everything. And you can see that at the moment I have bookmarked two tweets and now as I'm running this scenario it is actually processing two tweets and those two tweets have been added inside of database so you can see that they showed up over here. All right simple as that let's do two more tweets that we would like to bookmark. Let's do a bookmark here so that we can see the hashtag coming in and maybe another one. And normally we would schedule this scenario to run every every day, but if we want to have it faster, then we will just manually press play. Oh, actually it was running in the background as we have turned it on. So you can see that those two tweets that I have marked are already here, as well as the new hashtag has showed up. All right, so that's it. That's the simple automation that I have built using make.com. So find more details in the description of this video and I hope this was useful for you guys. And thank you to Simon for inspiration on Twitter to create this scenario. Thanks guys, bye bye.